Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do for myself. I record it, and I release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. It just so happens I love God, you know. Choose God this day. The bad guys they sin, the good guys we sin, we all sin. It's whom you serve, you know. Um, for those of you who are just tuning in, I uh, focus out of three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and a, I'm in an introductory paperback called The Shape of Suffering. It's a Buddhist text. I try to rotate each text at least twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how I'm led to meditate, you know. Love yourself, you know. Love yourself because if nobody else out there loves you, 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 you know, you'll be okay. You know, you'll be okay. And never give up on yourself. If you lost everything and you you still have yourself, you have everything. You can you can rebuild. You can always rebuild. Believe in yourself. So we're back in the rotation for the Quran. So we're still we're and another thing, I'm reading all these texts word for word, cover to cover. So it might take me a long time to get through it. But anyway, we're back in the rotation for the uh, for the Quran. We're still in chapter 2, but we're moving along. We're in section 37, spending in the cause of truth. All you who believe, spend of the good things that you earn, and of that which we bring forth for you out of the earth, and aim not at the bad to spend thereof, while you would not take it yourselves unless you connive at it and know that Allah is self-sufficient praiseworthy the devil threatens you with poverty and enjoins you to be niggardly and Allah promises you forgiveness from himself and abundance and Allah's ample giving knowing don't come at me I'm gonna tell I told you all I was gonna read it I already knew anyway Nobody come at me. No jokes, none of that. Because if you say some jokes, I'm going to delete you probably. Because I'm going to be real sensitive about it. He grants wisdom to whom he pleases. And, and whoever is granted wisdom, he indeed is given a great good. And none mind but men of understanding. And whatever alms you give, or whatever vow you vow, Allah surely knows it. And the wrongdoers shall have no helpers. Wrongdoers is wrongdoers. If you manifest charity, how excellent it is. And if you hide it and give it to the poor, it is a good for you. And it will do away with some of your evil deeds. And Allah is aware of what you do. People want to just run around here being devilish and demonish. Like, like, you know, like the heavenly hosts don't see you. Like God doesn't see you. They do see you. You'd be surprised. Don't be there at the last minute and be shocked to find out it was real all along, regardless of names. Their guidance is not thy duty, but Allah guides whom he pleases. And whatever good thing you spend, it is to your good. And you spend not but to seek Allah's pleasure. So watch it. Watch it, though. And whatever good thing you spend, it will be paid back to you in full. And you will not be wrong. I believe in that. You don't always have to... It doesn't always take money to bless somebody. You know, be kind to somebody that you see might need it. Even if they don't look like they need it, just be kind. Even if they don't, you know, reciprocate the same smile you gave them back or a word of encouragement. You know, do things, you know, differently. Start using your, your, your heart. Open up your heart in, in spite of all this madness. Charity is for the poor who are confined in the way of Allah. They cannot go about in the land. The ignorant man thinks them to be rich on account of their sustaining from begging. 
Thou canst recognize them by their mark. They beg not of men importantly. That's how I said it. And whatever good thing you spend, surely Allah is knower of it. Have a good day.